The Persian and the poet. Salamati. That was a good clue. My lust lusts for your lust. Have a snog as have a sit on. My love loves your love. Oh, Shirk, the ish return. در فراسوی مرزهای تنت تو را دوست می در فراسوی مرزهای تنم تو را دوست می دارم در فراسوهای عشق تو را دوست می دارم So here we are. I've got soju. You've got... Uh, that's a big glass of wine. <laughs> if you go through that whole thing tonight, it's going to get crazy. This is nothing for me. <laughs> I'm a big person. Look at my body. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. So, I'm Iranian. Okay, all right. So this is the Persian and the poet. Oh, that was a good... Salamati. That was a good clink. Cheers, guys. So cheers to you. So make sure you grab yourself a drink as well. And uh, we've got two absolutely beautiful... Oh, I shouldn't really say that of my own poem, but uh, it is a beautiful love poem. Uh, (laughs) And we've got a beautiful love poem of mine and a beautiful love poem written by Ahmed Shamlu. Um, And uh, so it's, it's a night of love tonight. But the poem of mine is... Uh, the first part of a poem and then next week we'll be sharing part two and unfortunately part two gets dark so maybe this will be the light lovey week and next week it might get pretty intense um yep but that's what poetry can be for for i think expressing those big emotions we have those when we're feeling incredible joy and incredible love and connection but also when we're feeling that incredible heartbreak and that incredible emptiness poetry can find the words for those intense emotions i've had a title for this poem but Upon hearing your translation and also your struggling with the title I had, she came up with a better title. Um, so I changed the title uh, that actually reflects more what you could find in Farsi that captured the poem. So, so it's You're a welcome. it's a, <laughs> it's a, a new title. Um, so the title is "Petaled Pillows and Thorny Sheets," Part One. Eyes into me like sunshine spires. The lipness of your liking kisses me into oblivious murmurs. Your playful words, life into my heart like summer kids into screaming pools. My need needs your need. Our sundown snuggles scrumptious me into golden syrup coziness. The warm adoration of your under midnight duna skin shivers me into pillow vows. 
My lust lusts for your lust. All your your so talented applaud me into a bubbly belief. All your love you as you are passion me into a ballroom of the best of me's. Your love dances within me, waltzes through with stylish words, mumbles into my deepest dreams. My love loves your love. دلدادگی نگاهت می شکافدم چونان تیقی نور خورشید عشق بازی لبانت مدهوش می کندم به سان زمزمه های فراموشی و بازی گوشی واژگانت خون می دواندم به سان فریاد کودکان تابستان به شوق آب تنی محتاج به احتیاج تو هم. شیرینی آغوشت در طلایی بعد از ظهر شهدابی است دلچسب و گوارا و گرمای ستایندت از ورای نرمی تن برهنت می لرزاندم به سرایش عاشقانه های شبانه هوسناک از هوس تو هم. سنایت به قریهم هل هل می زند بر فوران باورم مهرت به آنی که هستم می جوشدم به جویش آن برتری و عشقت درونم سما می کند با واژگانی راسته به سان صوفی در جرفای رؤیاهای عاشق به عشق تو هم My need needs your need محتاج به احتیاج تو هم My lust lusts for your lust حوسناک از حوس تو هم My love loves your love عاشق به عشق تو هم challenging actually when mm. when we're doing live for me at least because you know is mm. sometimes I get so emotional when sharing poems I saw you then, you had an emotion <laughs> you had an emotion yeah so I'm sorry if just no know, don't, po- I don't apologize hell, hell, for your emotions like, yeah, like but, you, you felt it which but, is beautiful no thank you but because in the podcast actually we normally I do it again I just read the poem again because it's much cleaner and nicer but so, look But also sometimes I have used the original, so it might work as it is. So, okay. yeah, mm. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. No, so and I'm so I... glad that you feel it. I mean, this is hopefully these words are words that you, there are about feeling. I want you to feel it. That's what poetry is for. So it's beautiful that you feel. Yeah, so, thank you. You yeah. too. Well, because I, uh, can I just say like, Because I'm so used to performing, like that's part of who I am. If anything, when I perform, I don't get emotional because there's part of me that's about I'm I'm not actually quite connected to what's happening. I'm about making sure I c- communicate it clearly. So it's quite different. I often don't let myself feel. Um, mm. Whereas I think it's actually beautiful when you let yourself feel. Like it's actually beautiful. So um, okay. anyway, I just Thank wanted you. to make that Thanks comment. Thanks for that. And- Can I just make a few comments about this poem? For sure. <laughs> so this poem, when I came to write it, uh, I don't know, some of you will know the work of Pablo, Pablo Neruda. And Pablo Neruda is famous for his love poems particularly, but his very surreal images. And so that's what I came to with this poem, that, that even that first sentence is, you know, the lipness of your liking kisses me into oblivious murmurs. I sort of had these images 
And it's more like I had these words and I threw them onto the table and tried to pick them up in different ways and because they come into you in different ways. Mm. So um, so it's quite a sur- – I tried to use words. I, You know, I, I turned my nouns into verbs and I, and I mixed the way a sentence would normally be put together. Um, so for me, like – yeah, when you came to translate that, because this is a bit different than I normally write and it's surreal. Yeah. How was it to try and translate? So I don't want to start complaining. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. because, you know, I, I just feel every time I talk about the translation of Cameron's poem, I'm like, oh, that was so hard. Oh, oh right. I died. That's just <laughs> like, but it's hard. The, the reality is, yeah. the fact is, it is hard, but it's. Yeah. It's so joyable. I'm I'm really enjoying in the same time. So, yeah. but okay, guys, this one was really hard. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, <laughs> it was really hard because yeah, it, that was surreal. That was the metaphors. But like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And I, you know, do you remember yesterday? Like much- I drew something. Like, do you mean this? Like <laughs> yeah, with this right. words? Yeah. I had like, to do yeah. a drawing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But to even like, and understand. even like every line. I sort of had to go, well, you could say it like this or like this. But even, I mean, the challenge with that is like some of those sentences that I've got there, you know, they're just impressions for me. They're like this weird abstract painting that I'm putting things out there. So it was quite yeah. hard for me to explain. I sort of have a feeling. But uh, so, yeah. But but, yeah. but I know by the end, because you worked very hard on this, I saw you, again, working for hours. She works for hours on these translations. Um that that by the end you came you were really proud of yourself and you were just like you came to capturing it and you said to me that you were loyal to the poem so that you really tried to capture that original essence absolutely and mm. you know except the part in the end because oh okay in the end cameron is talking about waltz and dancing which is like waltz is basically waltz in the like western culture is not anyway is not in like Iranian culture. So, right, yeah. And I was like going to play with the words in the way like, you know, it does make sense in Farsi. And actually Cameron came to me with the idea of I use Sama and I use Sufi, which is like, you know, mm. the, the Sama well, just, dance. Uh, I explained to, for, for people in the Western world, we might know it as uh, the whirling dervishes. That's the most common yes. title. Where the Sufis, the the mystic one mystic arm of Islam, they they dance. You know, and so, yeah, you what's should that say word? That Suma, the, uh, the Sufi. No, no, the dancing. Sama. 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 So Sama is the whirling, the whirling dance that the Sufis Sama do. Sama actually in mm. the, is the name of this dance, like yeah. which is like they hold one hand up, one arm up. And one down. Down, isn't down it? and to just, this is a, like a connection to the earth, to the God and the earth. And to the earth, yeah. So mm. anyway, we are not going to the details of that. But <laughs> yeah, we. I ended up to just, yeah, just like put it in the poem as a, as a, like I change it to waltz yeah. to the summer and I think it did work really great, really good. And mm. I thank you again of Broya for editing this yes. poem. And I really appreciate that. She mm. really helped me. And you know, um, during the translating the poem, in my yeah. experience, is just it's so interesting when you go through it, basically when I sit down, I have a I have an online dictionary in Farsi and looking for the words and then um and then I'm kind of finished, but I'm not finished, actually. Yeah. I back after like a couple of hours, I had a look at it again and just I changed it again. And this mm. poem, when I translated, changed a lot since yesterday. I really? translated like I retouched it maybe like at least like six or seven times to yeah. just get the really like I feel that. OK, that's it. And I got it. And I feel good about that. So yeah. it's. I mean, if you know another language, go for it and just give it a try. It's <laughs> so the joy of doing this is like it's crazy. It's so mm. crazy. Yes. Why do you, why do you uh, why do you think you experience it as joy? Like, is it is it even just the joy of accomplishment doing something really difficult, or is there something different? It's like you know when you when you read it in English, you can understand. Obviously, of course, for me as a you know English is my second language. Yeah. Maybe the few words I have to have a look. Oh, what was this word? I don't know what does it mean. But yeah. you know, totally the whole concept of you the poem. The you of get it, the yeah. feeling of yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. So, but you know, when you're gonna just translate it to another language, you 
you just like you know what he's trying to say, but <laughs> finding the right word for, uh, word for that is just such a struggle. And that struggle mm. is not annoying, actually. So yeah. it's such a big joy. You just like I know what he's gonna say, but I don't know what's the word. And you just like you know, mm. str- I love that. Just like you mm. using really your brain. Yeah. And yeah. Now, and <laughs> I know that. Uh, when you finished and you were happy, there was a couple of lines that you really like, oh, this is beautiful. So what were those lines that you just were really happy with that sound beautiful in Farsi? Honestly, at the moment, I love the whole poem. I'm so like... <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm really good. I like my translations. <laughs> All right. That's yeah. it. But, okay. I just, uh, I know that it was one bit you were going, oh, that is so beautiful or you're so happy with okay. it. But, um, I, but yeah. If, if you can't pinpoint that, that's okay. اشقت درونم سما می کند با واجگانی ها راسته به سان صوفی در جرفای رؤیه هایم. And I can recognize that. That's the last stanza, the last isn't it? One, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think why I really love the translation because I was, I'm feeling I was so loyal to the original, the poet. Yeah, and right. And in the same time, I could express the feeling of the poem. It's not just like, mm. you know, it's not just the story of loving. Is yeah. I, I think I could capture the emotion. And yeah, I'm, great. Yeah, I'm so great. And we're going into another poem now. And this is Ahmad Shamlu. Is that okay pronunciation? Absolutely. Oh, thank well you. Well done. <laughs> Cool. I had a look at a few different poems of Shamlu and Ramak sent me a couple of poems and we were going, oh, yeah, these are good ones, these are good ones. And then there was one that I found, I'm like, oh, I think I really like this. And as soon as I ran it by you, you were like, oh, wow, that's a that's a famous one, that's a good one. And I'm like, oh, yes. great, you know. So, right. And it's a, just a really beautiful love poem. So why don't we just get into it? Yeah. For sure. در فراسوی مرزهای تنت تو را دوست می دارم آینه ها و شپره های مشتاق را به من بده روشنی و شراب را آسمان بلند و کمان گشاده پل پرنده ها و قوس و غزه را به من بده و راه آخرین را در پرده ای که می زنی مکرر کن در فراسوی مرزهای تنم تو را دوست می دارم در آن دور دست بعید که رسالت اندام ها پایان می پذیرد و شعله و شور تپش ها و خواهش ها به تمامی فرو می نشیند و هر معنا قالب لفظ را وامی گذارد چنان چون روحی که جسد را در پایان سفر تا به حجوم کرکس های پایانیش وانهد و هر معنا قالب لفظ را وامی گذارد چنان چون روحی که جسد را در پایان سفر تا به حجوم کرکس های پایانش وانهد در فراسوهای عشق تو را دوست می دارم در فراسوهای پرده و رنگ در فراسوهای پیکرهای من با من وعده دیدار بده Beyond the borders of your body I love you. Give me the mirrors and the yearning moths, the light and the wine. Give me the tall sky and the hanging bow of the bridge, the birds and the rainbow. Play that last melody in the same mode once again. Beyond the borders of my body, I love you. In that far-off distance, 
where the ability of limbs comes to an end and the flame and the fervor of heartbeats and desires completely subsides and all meaning abandons the shell of words just as a soul does the body at the end of a journey leaving it to the onslaught of the vultures of end beyond the limits of love I love you beyond veils and color beyond the limits of our bodies promise to meet me dimension who translate oh this yes poem. okay who is that translated by so nemo nabili va frank luis frank <laughs> luis and nemo nabili because i was looking for iranian <laughs> yeah, name. Yeah. frank what's that uh, exotic iranian name of franca uh, yeah. luisa yeah <laughs> nemo nabili and Frank Lewis, they translated. And I think they did a really good job. I really well, like the translation. Like in English, uh, it's got some really long sentences, but it's so beautiful. Like sometimes when you read translations, you know, you feel the difficulty they've had coming into English. Whereas for me, this was so fluid. So that's a good translation. It felt really fluid and natural in yeah. English. I mean, it's really poetic as in really open um, and imagistic, as in using all these images. Yes. But, um, but it, you know, the essence of poetry and that, that, that line, you know, beyond the borders of your body, I love you. Beyond, and, yeah, so beautiful. And beyond so iconic the borders of my body. Yeah, and I then, think it's the core of this poem. And oh, sorry. Let yeah, me, maybe go. just uh, I, I'm not sure if you were with us last week and... Uh, but yeah, this is that was from Ahmad Shamlu, one of the contemporary poem poets from Iran, and he is he's such a famous international poet. And um, as we said before, he really he's a kind of really influential poet in Iranian poetry, and um, it's that's that's his poetry is beautiful. And um, this poem, actually, specifically this poem from his book. Um, Ida in the mirror. Ida was her his uh, third wife, and huh. so uh, she actually he actually wrote the book for her, like like she wrote so many poems for her, mm. and this is um, one of his poems for her. And mm. you know you can feel it is so emotional. And other poems um, he he has actually has been wrote it for mm. um, Ida. They all so beautiful, but we picked this because it wasn't like too long and yeah you know oh this is beautiful i just love it love yeah it. and this is like we call it i know i realized that this yeah. kind of poetry we call it shere sepid which is a um, white poem white poem yeah which ah. is like in english you call oh, yeah. it bulk poem or no no like um so bulk verse. free free verse yeah. or maybe blank verse but this is more like free verse yeah free verse yeah. yeah so basically and what that means is is that it's not using a a, a tight structure or constraint because if you're writing a gazelle or a sonnet they have really clear definitions of even like when you rhyme even the number of syllables in a line where this is when poetry in the 20th century started to break out of those constraints and it is actually like people think oh well it's so easy then you know you don't have the constraints but actually constraints help you and when you move out of the constraints, then actually it's harder and mm. you're using much more subtle musicality of language. So some people think free verse, that must be so easy, but actually really successful and really good free verse is harder to write. Is that because they still you still need to just keep the balance kind of? you can't I think just... it's hard, like but suddenly the balance has to be more intuitive, whereas if you're writing a sonnet or maybe a gazelle, 
then you've already the structure helps you find that balance whereas if you're writing a free verse you have to feel it and you have to really listen to the language like the music of the words and it can be it's it's harder to write a really successful free verse poem I don't know because of, I don't speak Farsi. I can't tell if Ramak's doing a good job. So you know, if there are any Farsi speakers, make sure you tell Ramak she's doing a good job. I don't know. I think she is. She I'm said, so confident. No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. No. She sounds good to me. It sounds beautiful. But for those Farsi speakers, yeah. make sure you like. And look, also me. Um, just give us feedback. I mean, look, Ed, every artist wants feedback and we would love feedback. Like whether what you think of the poems, what you're thinking of the podcast, um, but also even uh, poems. Like particularly, of course, we're doing poems from Farsi. Farsi. Um, if there's some really uh, poems that you love um, by Rumi or Hafez or modern Iranian poets, you know, we'd love to hear them because I would love to read them and then maybe we can do it as one of the episodes. So uh, we'd l- love your, uh, I suppose, feedback and interaction because that makes it more fun and exciting for us Yeah, as well. we're still doing this because in the in the beginning, yes, you, if you remember when we started, that was just a, like, that was just, I think, Thursday on Thursday. Yeah, decided Thursday to night. Do it on Friday. Yeah. And I think what... That's what art is doing normally. They do not have any plan. Just <laughs> feel it. We just feel it, okay? <laughs> we don't just feel it, mm. but we just feel it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it, it wasn't a planting. And, you know, during the during the isolation in Melbourne, we did that. And we're still doing it. I think we really, I, 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 personally, I really love to keep doing this because yeah. I'm going to miss people even if I back to people and see them <laughs> i'm gonna miss this life i'm gonna miss this energy and i'm gonna miss yeah. myself even oh okay you can miss yourself like miss this manifestation of yourself exactly. in this moment <laughs> you know yeah, yeah and drinking yeah. and yeah everything yeah. is just it's such an amazing experience it's so good and yeah, yeah thank you so much for joining us tonight so and i will say hey if if you think you know someone that might enjoy this make sure you share it okay so uh whether it's sharing this live version or sharing the podcast please do share it around we just want to say a few thank yous we've had some beautiful feedback so ramak what was one of the feedbacks we've had. Yeah, a friend of mine, Joe. I love you, Joe. Thank you so much for sending me this beautiful message. And yeah, she was saying... Well, she said, I've got it here in front of me. She says, thanks for sharing such thought-provoking and sophisticated banter. Which is, I mean, look, we want to be sophisticated. We hope to provoke, pro- provoke thought. So yes. thank you so much. And it's so lovely to get some feedback in that it's way. So, it's, it's so fascinating and it's so encouraging. Thank you so much, beautiful Joe. And um, yeah, we had I had an email from this this uh, lady. Her name is Munes, and she's Iranian. She just sent me an email regarding to what we're doing and the translation. Merci Munes Jan, va bogan mamnun az emailet. Khel qashange ke in ehsas ke be dast dade va in dost dastan o ba man be ishtirak gozeshti va be jo inke nigah dari va va به من منتقل کردی و من ایمیل فرستادی و خوشحالم که ما رو گوش میکنی هر جای دنیا که هستی خوب باشی و سلامت میبوسمت So thank you for the feedback and hey keep sending us encouraging words or even critical words we're, we're up for any just uh, feedback is great So I think we're done for the night. What don't we do is do a little... I've got a little bit of my drink left. Yeah, and see, um, I didn't drink all of my wine. No, you I can keep drinking at, tonight. There's something inside my wine. There's <laughs> oh, a, a fly. There's a fly. It just adds some protein. That's all. <laughs> I can't you, have it. We, do, we can still do the cheers. The Persian and the poet. Be salamati. Salamati. And have a great night. We love you. Take care of yourself. Bye, beautiful people. <laughs> <laughs>